guys, it's Madeline from MyVocalJourney.com. This episode is about resonance. We are going to get you comfortable producing space for fantastic sound, fantastic singing, bringing it. So what is resonance? Hopefully you watched the episode about the three basic elements of great singing. They were breath support, resonance, and focus, aim, and direction. So resonance deals with the amount of space that you're creating for your tone to roll around in. So we talk about creating those sort of cathedral domes in our own heads. We have our body cavity, of course, and males particularly, I'm a little jealous of how much resonance you're able to create with those lower tones in your body. But as pitches ascend, as notes get higher, we're moving into resonating chambers, which are higher in our head. Let's do a few exercises and, and things to sort of figure out what that means for us. How do we create space? One. You can open your mouth more. However, with the technique that I'll explain a little further in the episode on aim, I prefer to not let my jaw completely drop and unhinge. So I'm going to be asking you to think about opening your mouth upwards and of course your jaw will open as well. But by, op by considering opening upwards, you're lifting your soft palate. And that's what really gives us access to other spaces, to our mask, to our sinuses. You've got your roof of your mouth, put your tongue along the roof of your mouth and slide backwards. So from your top teeth all the way backwards. You're gonna to get to a spot where it goes from a hard palate to where the skin feels softer. That raises when you yawn. For example, let's try to yawn. You can feel that stretching significantly. The problem with yawning that open for singing is that your sound is probably going to be backwards and you're sort of adding too much tension to the larynx. Let's not go there. But yawning is a great way to feel. What does it feel like lifting my soft palate? You could yawn. You could do, uh, one of my favorite choir directors, he calls it the muffin breath, and I, and I like to think of it as the delighted surprise breath. So let's just say somebody told you something that you were delighted and surprised at, and you went, <gasps> that inhale is going to give you a lifted soft palate. Okay, all of this is to get us very familiar with this soft palate lift. Why? Why is this important? Because this is the difference between you accessing both your range, your upper range, females, I know, let's not even get started with crossing over the bridge into, many people call it the head voice. It gives you access to opening to those tones. It also just gives you a fuller and a rounder sound. So let's give some examples, again, of what it sounds like with a lifted soft palette with plenty of space for your sound. Okay, let's do a descending fifth starting at treble C. And I want you to first imitate that proper English woman at the tea party. And I want you to say, darling, right? This is not your own voice, but just say, darling, right? It's a very lifted, soft palate. Think forward and sing, darling. Okay, so the ah, give me a darling and then we have darling let's just descend darling 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 my soft palate is still lifted something that might take practice to really get that feeling of the sensation of keeping the soft palate lifted. 
But in the next episode about AIM, I'm actually going to give you my, I did not make this up, but my trick for keeping that soft palette lifted without having to think about it so much. And I am forever grateful to my own vocal coach for passing this on. See you soon. See you in the next episode. Love you.